Hey everyone, after our great discussion about passion, I found myself looking at self-development lists on the weekend and I thought it was very interesting. I don't really take these lists too seriously, but I really like to read them for various reasons. Sometimes you just find things that confirm what you think about yourself. I like that. I like to get the confirmation that, hey, you're not so bad. And also, these lists remind you of what you've done, of what you can do and who you are. That's what I like about them. What I don't really do is use them to improve myself, which is probably not a good thing because that's what they're there for. But I enjoy finding myself in them lists for affirmation and confirmation more. From reading the self-development list, it was just a short step to reading 100 things to do before you die lists. Like those must-do lists before you die. They are there for before you're 30, before you're 40, before you're 20s and all these things. And I thought they were very interesting. I kind of look to have a look at what other people want to do before they die or before they turn 40, what's important. And what I discovered was that it really depends on where the list is from. I found a list by a teenager and for her it was just like, oh, finished school, live alone, go out alone for the first time and things like that. And I thought, interesting, that's important when you're 20, but when you're 40, that doesn't seem so important anymore. And there were other lists by the BBC which focused on owning a house, owning a holiday home, skydiving or having a scuba diving license. And I thought, hmm, not interesting to me either. It's just not something I want to do. And there was also a list that really confused me. It was by the Cosmopolitan and it was just the dumbest list I've ever seen. There were things on there that were just natural, like eating a full piece of cake. Why does someone have to have that on their to-do list? Why would anyone not eat a full piece of cake? I mean, seriously. And that was just really interesting to me to see how lists change and differ depending where they are from and also the age they were written at. I think I've told you before that I don't really have a bucket list. And my bucket list philosophy has always been like, if you want to really do something, do it now. Don't save it for later. If you don't do it now, you don't really want to do it. Maybe you want to do it later and then you put more energy in it. But in general, I think, whoops. Slippery. But in general, I think saving things for later is not a good idea. And this kind of philosophy had me being stuck with my 30s already. Sometimes I was like, I don't have any things I want to do anymore. And that was kind of troublesome. It's not like that today. It's a little bit like it, but not that stressful. But at the same time, I like those lists to look at what other people want to maybe get ideas. And I think it's fun. And I would like to hear what you think it's important to have done by a certain time of age or things you think you want to do definitely at one point in your life what you think is important let's just talk about that thank you all for watching and you need to watch where i'm going and people everywhere